Morera Beula. A Beula King Weyari Wadi Tsa and the Chief Malaba. So Chief Malaba une Mawadi Amararu. Une Wadi Beula, which is uh, Ward 5. Une Wadi as Gangacha, which is Ward 6. Uh, then Une Wadi Amalaba, which is Ward 7. So it's under Chief Malaba. Chief Malaba. Hi, Togozan, Togozan, Kamaku. Eh, welcome to Makriza Made Miku, Prince Valu Mashangye. Eh, Unzu Zagana Nansi, Umke, Chetina, Omakotunga, Galo Chani. Welcome to the show. If it's your first time, please just head over to the subscribe button. Yeah, just press there, click. Uh, also press on the bell notification. I would love for you to be part of our family here, documenting Africa's diverse food culture. So we're here at Kezi, which is 200 kilometers from the city of Mlao, at a place that's known as Gopeula. So interestingly, this place is 20 kilometers from the Botswana uh, border post. So when we got here, uh, it was a desire to know what the word Gopeula. Firstly, before we move on to the name uh, Kezi. So as history says within the area, uh, Upeula uh, was a person, but uh, while Amanda. Uh, so, uh, so I don't know how far true that is. Uh, and apparently there's Upeula and Seula. These were two people that moved into this area. Then for Kezi, uh, which is in the south uh, southwestern part of Zimbabwe, uh, the name Kezi is derived from a uh, Sevira. Sevira is language that's spoken by the Bavira. The Bavira as uh, identified among northern Sutu, uh, specifically within what's known as Ispet. Uh, so in Bavira, or when we now talk about language, Sevira, this is known as Khezi. K-E-G-E-T-S-I. So Khezi means a bag. So Khezi now became a corrupted uh, word, a corrupted name uh, for Khezi, as it is said. Um, Okay, so now discovering this fact on the Bavira, it was my dream, it's always been my dream. Uh, who speaks this language, who's going to teach me this language and uh, whom I'm going to learn uh, even briefly about the history of the Bavira of Zimbabwe. Uh, Bavira Moli Fazila Zimbabwe. Vaguile South Africa, uh, Limpopo province. So, more Zimbabwe, Bavira, Vakumanera, who southern part, Yaguanda, who Gwanda south, Vakumanera, Matobo district, Kezi. So, Vakumanera, Sankonja, Nibadi. Chilanye Mbabade, Neram Tatero, Utipulegets are keys. Baya Kumanera Namo. Yeah, so interesting take there. Um, so if you look at the Bavira, uh, predominantly found in three countries here in Zimbabwe, in Botswana, and also in South Africa. So getting that take, um, and if you could hear the language being spoken by Ubabusheza. The similarities with Setswana and Sutu, uh, Ispedi, and also Islos, um, just it just falls within the same language structure. For example, if you look at the, the name in Sibira, uh, they it's just a difference within the letters. Uh, in, in Setswana, they say Udeng, uh, then in Sibira, they'll say Udeng, uh, the T changes into a D. So interesting, interesting language. Um, uh, Sibira is part of Sesutu. Uh, it's uh, an extraction of the northern Sutu Sipedi. Uh, Rone uh, Sipedi, which is northern Sutu. Rone Sisutu Sale Sutu, which is southern Sutu. Nesitswana. Uh, and then Nisilozi, uh, that is northwestern Sutu, Chechi uh, Kumanera, Zambia, 
northwestern part of Zambia. Hey. So, 200 kilometers here, uh, Gope Wula, we are here for a ceremony. Uh, um, so, uh, remember, we, we, there's a beautiful lady that we've worked with here on the show called Vishay Funkle, um, uh, within the homestead, uh, we slaughtering a cow, so decided to just to call and uh, family members, uh, Zakamiz, the community, and have that uh, ceremony celebrate uh, to celebrate life uh, and what we also realized is within that community they actually use that platform uh, with and the with issues surrounding uh, the community um, so leaving the city of Bulawayo uh, around two o'clock as a figure and the the chores that we done we went to the crow uh, got some milk uh, started cooking and the one having up William Biza Ziavoroma started cooking then in preparation for for the ceremony that was going to uh, okay the interesting in communities like these ones a case of Peula in trying to recall you our poor Clara in Como in a way or as a family alone it's actually done within the community then you have people coming in even if it's not a ceremony you'd find that people are going to share that meat uh, and so on. So just that spirit of sharing, because uh, the following day, another neighbor is going to have the same thing. So calculating that spirit of sharing within the community of Kezi. Uh, Okay. Ah, uh, Mori Kumana, who never but Baba was Halaga, who never to Baba was it really, who never to Baba was a beer. Ah, King Dao, who's what the father Zimbabwe, Joshua Kumu. Ah, uh, Lee J Z Moyo, Libo Stephen Nkomo, eh, but Baba Nji Baba Naba Swarehane, eh, ntwa ya ya ntwa ya 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 u eh, kulula Zimbab. So interesting. Also in the area, there is vast farming activities that are done by Ubabu Unube. The, the owner of the homestead where I'm sitting here. Um, so many and the preferred grain uh, within this area is pearl millet uh, in Yawuti, Munga, uh, which is farmed um, extensively here in uh, Gopewood. And there are also other interesting things. If you look at the food that was um, cooked, mostly derived from the, the cow that was slaughtered. Uh, and in Yawuti, there was in Yawuti by the side. Amaheu, eh, Dalang Agunat Amaheu. That was also prepared also uh, at the ceremony. Then you had umkiko, uh, love umkiko. Umkiko basically is soccer malt mixed with maize malt. Then usupera we lambas. That's the step before the, the distill dist, when you distill uh, alcohol umkombot uh, uchwal. Um, so that's the the step. So generally that's uh, what we ate. Uh, but uh, memories were created. Um, uh, just learning so many things from the elders here in the community. So heading to Go Peula, uh, <laughs> those who know, there's an interesting scenage there uh, that's written. Uh, it's Cavendish and, and Jolly. Um, so those that stay in Jolbeck know that's a place in Uville. Um So it's interesting. Uh, we took that uh, and so that we can just show you uh, there. But also 
other places along the way that you can good scenery along the way um, and when you stretch going further uh, across my top walls there is my piece of the shops there um, so many beautiful places that you can see when you're visiting uh, this place so um, interesting uh, on our side to to go to this place for the first time on here on Makriza made me cook uh, and just learning from the elders is Jalukuluma which in Jalibuza or Pambila and it's always nice for us to go there and see a lot of people uh, from, uh, from the elders. Um, so anyway, thank you for watching. I also like to thank Ubawi uh, Hezekilsheza who gave us the introduction on uh, the Babirwa history and, uh, and the language and also to the homestead Yagonube uh, Chef Nkle, uh, where we're watching this video. Thank you so much for inviting us to your homestead um, and all the residents of uh, Kezima Pisa and also the nice tracks uh, that you heard uh, them sing. Thank you so much. Uh, my name is Prince Sivalo Mashaw. Uh, uh, remember, please subscribe if you haven't done that. Also, go to our socials at Magriza Made Me Cook. That is Facebook, uh, Instagram, Twitter, and TikTok. Um, just follow follow the movement as we document Africa's diverse food culture. Oh, yeah.